Right, so we use the same, same formula. So let's say we're looking for this angle. Uh, we have angle A and side A. So we have this angle A and side A. Uh, we're looking for angle B. Look it up. And we have side B. So we'll use this formula here. Alright, so we'll use the formula A over sine A is equal to B over sine B. We're not really considering, forget about C altogether. Right, so A is 10 over sine of 60, and then side B is 9 over sine B. That's a 9. All right. So there we cross multiply. Yeah. So we'll multi cross multiply like this. So. 10 sine b is equal to 9 times sine of 60 degrees. Alright, I'm looking for, so I don't need to use the calculator yet. Uh, I want sine b on the left hand side on its own, so to get rid of 10, I need to divide by 10, divide by 10. 10 over 10 is 1. Sine b is equal to Exactly right. So nine brackets sine sixty equals and divided by ten. Okay. Sine of B is equal to zero point seven seven nine four two two eight. Right, so how do you get the angle B? So it's sine inverse zero point seven seven nine four two two. Eight. So inverse sine and key in the decimal. Keep as much of the decimal as you can. So it's 51.2, 51 degrees. They'll ask you to round it off. So B is equal to 51.2 degrees or 51 degrees. Round it off to the nearest degree.